was quite a feather in his cap that at least the four big city mayors fought between limited tax revenues and demands for services and in the case of both Boston and New York, demands for So we, we don't know what will happen, but I would think when they came out with the list of bases that should be should be closed, they could say, and we're going, not going to close base X or Y because we intend to move the troops there. Right now, we don't know. Um, this is All right, thank you for your call. Uh, we'll get a response to it in just a moment. I'm Terrence Smith. You're listening to the Diane Ream Show. If you'd like to join us, call 1-800-433-8850 or email us at drshow at wanu.org. Uh, Larry Corb, you know, if there is another terrorist attack here, and if they're all over there, they're not going to be here. So by not having a large enough army, relying too much on these people, we are leaving ourselves vulnerable at home. Marco Island? I'll just say one thing. I respect the caller's viewpoint, but I have... A diametrically opposed to your point. I admire the work of all our military personnel in all of these operations. I think whether it's in Iraq, or whether it's in Serbia, Kosovo, Bosnia, or Panama, we've been trying to improve our own security and also help other people. Affected and why? That's the Diet Ring Show, Thursday. And the Diet Ring Show continues into the 10 o'clock hour. Support has any connection to the crashes. At least 89 passengers are reported dead. Well, joining us on the line from just outside Moscow is Fred Weir of the Christian Science Monitor. Fred, are officials at all thinking that these two crashes could have been a coincidence? They are loudly suggesting that. They're suggesting it might have been bad fuel, which is a common problem in, in Russian airports, but it usually causes accidents in the wintertime, you know, when yeah, logging, it is very important to distinguish between logging and logging. You know, logging, logging is the of logging is the products off of the log. And the, the, the purpose of thinning, though, is to improve those conditions, you know, to manage those conditions. Uh, well, I'd like to know, first of all, are these domesticated animals, or are they wild? This is Talk of the Nation. I'm Neil Cummins in Washington. Four months ago, horrific pictures of American military personnel abusing inmates at Abu at ba Baghdad. The raid were cited for poor leadership. Their commanders in Baghdad were blamed for ignoring obvious warning signs. And their commanders, top civilian and military brass at the Pentagon, 
were blamed for bad planning, for sending confusing signals about what was allowed and what wasn't, and for failing to provide enough military police, interpreters, and interrogators. The conclusion journal of the Lancet reported that American military medics were complicit in the abuse of Abu Ghraib. Did your report look into that? Uh, we refer to that in the report and say that uh, you need to define those rules more clearly. Certainly if, if a, if, well, responsibility of course goes all the way up to the top, but uh, there's responsibility in varying degrees. Uh, I believe that, that uh, uh, there will be follow-up to these reports and individuals will uh, have their responsibility assessed. Uh, as I say, it's implicated particularly uh, uh, General Sanchez himself, the uh, head of Joint Task Force 7, uh, the Army decided to, uh, to appoint a higher-ranking uh, general who would, uh, who would take it further up the chain, uh, who was General Jones. So it became known as the Faye Jones Report. Uh, and what it's concluded is basically is that this does go beyond uh, the seven MPs. One report published today says the final bill is expected to be around $12 billion. It's more than twice original estimates. Spending overruns have increased the country's already large deficit, and construction delays and terrorists of this, and we'll uh, continue the discussion. Uh, it'll be coming up, more of it, on overtime rules. So please stay tuned. saying it was not my followers of Mokata Sadr, um, and it is a, it's one of the uh, one of the holy shrine places in that general vicinity. Those three mortar rounds caused uh, uh, a scene of enormous devastation. Uh, at this point, uh, at least 27 dead, uh, dozens more wounded. Um, uh, the, the explosive rounds uh, sort of ripped through that crowd there. Now, it's not clear uh, who fired those rounds. The U.S. military had issued a statement categorically saying no. The, the onus of burden is on you as an applicant to prove that you are going where you say you're going, you have a means of supporting yourself, and you have ample reason to return. If that presumption is not overcome, uh, the visa is disqualified. One of the things that I'm trying to promote, and I'll promote very hard, especially post our, our hearings that we held, the UN does not have an international convention on travel. There needs to be. So there's transparency, reliability when it comes to passports, birth certificates, and the like. So there's uniformity. So we know that so-and-so is who he or she says they are, and they need to go and do this or that, maybe study abroad, and not engage in something more nefarious like terrorism. Congressman Smith, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much. Chris Smith, a Republican from New Jersey, Vice Chairman of the House International Relations Committee, was with us here in Studio 3A. When we come back from a short break, we'll continue this conversation. Join us. I'm Neil Cohn, and you're listening to Talk of the Nation from NPR News. This is Talk of the Nation. I'm Neil Cohn in Washington. Tomorrow, it's... ...of the oil on the earth. We are never going to drill our way out of... Uh, out of dependence on foreign oil, we need to look at other alternatives, and that's what this administration has been unwilling to do. If we raise fuel economy, fuel efficiency in our, our country, but one mile per gallon, we would yield more gasoline than twice the amount of gasoline that is in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. If we raise 2.6 miles per gallon, we would produce more oil than import from Iraq and Kuwait combined. If we raise it by 7.6 miles